Hey cat friends, so today I'm going to be doing the recreating teenage me video. Now as I'm sure you can see I do look rather poop right now but I'm gonna go through kind of what I look like. We're talking about 2006 on to 2008-2009 borderline and I went through so many different phases of goth. I went through cyber goth, Gothic Lolita, Jack of Jill Inspired, Scene Kid, Ghoul Scout, you name it, I went through the phase and I decided today that I was going to recreate one of my favourite phases, which was the Jack of Jill Inspired phase. I was like hardcore obsessed with Jessica from Jack of Jill. I used to sing all their songs and it was all about like Lolly Ra and uh, Strawberry Gashes and yeah, I was like hardcore obsessed. So I'm going to recreate it for you today and hopefully it will be a bit of fun. So back then it was all about pale face, like as pale as you can be. So I'm going to start off with a bit of concealer. because I always put my concealer on first before I did anything else. So I'm just going to use it to cover up some of my crappy spots. And I didn't use brushes back then either. It was all manual with the hands. Now I'm going to use like a drugstore foundation, Revlon Colorstay. I can't exactly remember what I used to use back then. It was some sort of drugstore foundation of some sort. Thank God I found brushes and beauty blenders as an adult. How the fuck, how did I do this all the time? Horrible massaging it in with your hands. Horrible. Ugh. So streaky. Really bad. Actually awful. So, pale face has been achieved now. And to set it, I'm going to use MAC in NC5, which is very, 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 very pale. It's pretty much Casper the Ghost in paleness, so I'm going to pat this all down and hope it helps hide this monstrosity of a foundation. <laughs> I look so funny on camera right now. <laughs> yeah, let's clean it up a bit. So I'm not going to be doing any contouring because back then it was either black or pale shades, like anything bronzer like was like, <gasps> oh no god no you can't use that, that's that's not goth, you can't use that colour. So <laughs> I think the most I used to do back then was a little bit of blush. So I'm going to go straight in with I think my eyebrows next, which were always dark. Back then I used to shave my eyebrows off, I looked like an egg for years. Looking back, it's like, why did I used to shave my eyebrows off? That wasn't the best life choice page to make because it took me years to grow the fuckers out. So I would have blocked him out, but I can't find any print sticks. So I'm just going to literally work with what I've got and see if I can kind of like recreate how my eyebrows used to look. So literally all I used to use for my eyebrows back in the day was black eyeliner. <laughs> I didn't have any eyebrows to draw on with, so I'd whoop, draw them on. So I am just going to try and fill these in with this black eyeliner I genuinely don't care that they're not even considering as on a good day my eyebrows would be kind of symmetrical when I used to draw them on and on a bad day they would be like here and here and squigglies and dots and all sorts of crazy fucked up shapes so <laughs> this will have to do I guess. So now on to eyeliner. I still use the same stuff I used when I was like 15 which is the collection 2000 liquid eyeliners I think they're really really good so back in the day I used to do like this really dramatic full cat eye look 
and it's been years and years and years and years and years since I last did it so probably gonna mess up on this but it's worth a try I want to try and uh, recreate it I liked my eyes like really really thick and black but then oddly enough I'd wear sunglasses all the time and we used to call them hater blockers so when we're out in the daytime no one could see our eyes probably due to the lack of sleep and all the caffeine like Red Bull we were drinking but hey so let's give this a go Cool, it'll do because we're going over with eyeshadow anyway. So next I want to bring the tip in. And try and do the same for the other eye, I guess. I swear this was easy when I was like 15. It's really hard now as an adult. Now I'm gonna go in with a black coal pencil and line the shit out of my waterline. If I warm this up a bit. So now my eyeliner is done, it is really messy, I didn't care back then. I'm just going to go in with a black eyeshadow and I'm just going to buff some colour in just to uh, darken it up a bit. So it's quite funny kind of reliving my old teenage days. I, back in the day of kind of like Bebo and Myspace and I was really, really close friends with these people, um, and it was Adam and Gabrielle, and we kind of became like this goth group, really, that so many people wanted to know us, and we used to get these accounts in like Poland and shit, like pretending to be us. Yeah, there was like this crazy uh, romance fiction about me and Adam, even though he's gay, which was crazy. But that was back in the day for you. Back when we used to go to Slimes, Slime Light under age, because you were kind of different, no one gave a shit. Back when we used to go to Camden every weekend. Oh, those are the days. And I'm just gonna very quickly brush off the uh, black powder that appears to have dropped all over my face. So these are the eyes. Dark and mysterious. Next, I'm going to do a little bit of mascara, then I'm gonna try and put some false eyelashes on, because it was all about the lashes back then, like oversized lashes. So I'm just going to use a little bit of mascara and uh, just dark it up my lashes a little bit. So I've got these big uh, dramatic lashes, so I'm just going to put some lash glue on them. I'm going to try and get them on my lashes because I used to be really really good at putting false eyelashes on and then I seem to, in my old age, become really really shit at doing eyelashes now. So I guess it's where I probably I just I didn't do it for years and years and years. I, I didn't really need to. I suppose why it's getting tacky, I could kind of talk more about my goth days. So, back in the day, I used to be able to um, wear the new Rock Neptunos, but they were the double ones. So they were around about 10 inches, I think. And I could run and jump in them, I could play DDR in them. I used to go to Camden, and like Camden cobbles are really uneven. And I could walk up and down all day on there. And I remember once I stupidly bought the 16 inch platform new rocks from, I think it was called Booty, which was a, it burnt down unfortunately, but it was like this store in Camden. And I tried wearing them and I couldn't walk in them and the punks kept like kicking my feet, trying to knock me over. And it was like the worst purchase I ever made, but like the best purchase I ever made. I sold those eventually.
Lord knows how I used to do this like every day when I was growing up. I genuinely have no idea how I had the patience. Now I'm just like, blah, 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 blah. why won't you stick, damn nibbit? Right, so for lips, I went through all sorts of different colours kind of growing up. I had black for ages, and then I had red, and then I had like black ombre. But I think one of the most kind of iconic colours for me was red. So I'm going to go for red today. So uh, I'm going to start by uh, lining my lips. actually easier back thing so I had like loads of labrette studs across my lip rather than one going through oh how times have changed I value my teeth more remember all the times I used to go to the dentist when I had like eight <laughs> lip piercings and they'd be like oh how have you got teeth what's kind of nice though is when I did my YouTube live last week is that actually some people there have kind of known me from like the beginning days so like 2006 they knew me as I looked like this it's quite sweet seeing how the like the circle of life the circle of pages goth life ah yeah because nothing says goth like lips like the blood of your enemies like now recently I've been converted to liquid lipstick I'm like how did I ever use these before like what is this now my lips are done all I have left to do is put my wig on, which I'm going to do now with the magic of a jump cut. Ta-da! So yeah, this was me in around about 2006, 2007 maybe? 2005, I don't know, it was one big gothic blur for me. But this is pretty much how I used to look. Excuse me if you can see some brown wig underneath. I, uh, I lost my black wig, so I had to improvise. Give me some anesthetic to wash this headache away And give me a syringe to inject the pain And give me something pretty I hope I'll never be I'd rather be creepy and very strange so yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed it It's been a lot of fun recreating little, little teenage gothic me uh, at some point, I will be recreating the little uh, scene kid page phase. But it's been really good fun, guys. As I'm sure you know from my other videos, I have kind of grown up from my gothic phase. But it's been fun nonetheless. So yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. My cat. Cool cat. Good cat. Pussy cat. When I see him walking. Makes no sense to me. My cat is amazing. We watch him on TV. My cat. Cool cat. Cool cat. Push your cat. Love you. I'm sorry. He can break my arm and sever my laces. He can eat a whole watermelon.